My name is Louise Young and I'm a research fellow here at Strathclyde University in Glasgow. In my lab we are looking at dysfunction of mitochondria in disease and health. We work closely with chemists and so we are looking for novel drugs for various disease states which affect the mitochondria. So dysfunction of mitochondria in neurodegenerative diseases, for example Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease and also other diseases such as cancer and even acne. We have an assay cascade where we use a range of assays to look at mitochondrial dysfunction. We use several Promega assays in our assay cascade. We use cell titer glow, we use an exon 5 and we also measure reactive oxygen species using ROS glow. Prior to using ROS glow we were using a fluorescent method and one of the problems with this method was that we had to wash the cells and the cells were coming off the bottom of the plate. One of the benefits of using ROS glow was that it's a homogeneous assay and therefore we didn't have to do the washing steps and this made up for a better assay system. To use ROS glow in our platform what we would do is we would grow our cells and then we would treat them with our compounds of interest. We incubate them for the required time and then we use the ROS glow kit to determine ROS produced. The assay is very, very short. It takes less than an hour and a half. So we just fit it in whenever we're ready to use it and we have the rest of the day to do analysis. Well, the results have been very encouraging. Some of the compounds have actually reduced the, the ROS that has been produced. So we are very excited to take these compounds forward and see what they bring. Our next steps would be to do further orthogonal assays to confirm the results that we've already seen. For example, we're, we have some protein targets that we are likely to look at to give us greater information on how these compounds are behaving. For us, the bigger picture obviously would be to find novel therapies against Alzheimer's disease, against Parkinson's and all other diseases related to mitochondria. Thank you.